it out. I mean, this is really cool. You can see finally, yeah, you couldn't see Carter Finley Stadium earlier. The clouds are breaking. We're still at 58, but I expect that temperature to pop quickly. It's still cloudy in 58 in Smithfield, but look where it's been sunny throughout much of the morning. It's been sunny in Fayetteville, sunny in Goldsboro, and you're already at 70 degrees heading for the upper 70s today. We got our work cut out to get the triangle into the 70s, but these clouds are eroding. This is our high definition satellite picture. You can see exactly where the clouds are. As a matter of fact, nothing in Fayetteville, clear in Clinton, real sunny in Goldsboro, but clouds in gray in Wilson and Rocky Mount. Just zooming in, you can see some breaks in the clouds that we showed you over uh, Carter Finley Stadium. It's sunny in Hillsboro. Sunny now in Chapel Hill, but still rather cloudy in Durham. But skies are brightening there. These clouds are thinning out. So the hope, the goal, is to burn this off and get everybody into the 70s this afternoon. At least, you know, that's what I forecasted. So we want to get there. So we will see that. Definitely, if it's been sunny all morning at your house, you're in the 70s already. Got my eye on a couple showers upstate uh, South Carolina, western North Carolina, and Georgia. This little impulse will continue to move to the east. And there's a slight chance later today, one. One, maybe, or two very isolated showers or thunder showers could move in around dinner time or early this evening. Most of us aren't going to see anything we mentioned all day. You don't need your rain gear today, but just keep an eye to the sky. Just It's almost a just in case. All right, here's what to expect for the weekend. We've got the uh, 70s still tomorrow, despite an afternoon cold front, and we'll discuss that in detail in a moment. But there could be some showers in advance of the front. But the best chances for rain as we head into the weekend, Saturday night and into Sunday. It's going to be cooler this weekend, 60s on Saturday, 70s, 50s, not 70s, 50s on Sunday. It's 70s on Friday. All right, sounds like a radio station. This afternoon, the rays of sunshine. Six. Yeah, believe it or not, I mean, some areas have been basking in a 9 and or 10, and uh, parts of the triangle have been a 0 or 1. But I'm going to get everybody a little bit of sun this afternoon at least and get you into the 6 range. So 71 degrees at 2 o'clock, that's a... High jump to get you out of the 50s, although it's 70 already in Fayetteville, so that's no problem. 75 at 4 o'clock, 73 at 6, and then back down into the 60s. There's your little chance of a late day shower, thunder shower. And then later at night, midnight onward, we could see a couple more showers as that uh, moisture in advance of the front comes our way. 76 in Raleigh. Fingers crossed, 75 in Durham. Doesn't look like it now, but we'll, you'll see how quickly we'll warm up. And I'm fairly, feeling pretty confident we'll get up to 79 in Fayetteville. This front is going to lift to the north. It's going to open everybody up. You don't really see any precipitation showing up at 6 o'clock, but a couple of those showers maybe in this cloud area could pop. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but and for the most part, you don't really have to worry about much of anything through the evening hours. Then a few showers over us overnight and then tomorrow morning. But look what's going to happen. The showers will kind of dissipate somewhat and here comes the front so even though the front's taking its time getting here and it'll clear out the skies late in the day it'll allow us still to get in the 70s then we get the winds out of the northeast on saturday we're rather cloudy could see a little bit of rain a little bit late in the day i got a 20 percent chance once again another just in case but we'll get the good rain coming saturday night and into sunday and you can see it right there maybe some moderate amounts to our south so we'll keep an eye on that and it'll be much cooler on sunday so so for this afternoon, we're going to get some sun, if you haven't had it already, mid-70s, that 20% chance, that slight chance late in the day. A couple morning showers on Friday, mostly cloudy otherwise, we'll still manage 75. We should be dry Friday afternoon and Friday night. Saturday, maybe a little bit of light rain by sunset, and then the rain becomes likely Saturday night into Sunday. Slight chance on Monday, 55 degrees, so we're going to be cool Sunday and Monday. And then St. Patrick's Day, we've got another little system with some showers. And and then as we approach spring, the official start of spring, we go back into the 70s. Just a small chance of a shower on the first day of spring and Friday and maybe the following weekend, a few showers coming our way in 74.